So today we're going to be doing a tier list on the four star character units here in Honkai Star Rail. And I want to mention first is that all these units are going to have their own uses, especially depending on the bosses that are going to be coming out and the elements that you're going to need, right? Because all these units have certain elements that you're going to want to bring in certain boss fights that the boss is weak to. Um, so they're all going to have value and are going to be used at certain points of the game. So this is not an end all be all list. This is just individual rankings on their skills and what I think on these characters characters based on my opinion right so with that in mind guys let's go ahead and get started also make sure you guys subscribe like the video if you like the video and share this around now the first unit we're going to go over here is march 7th which is the uh, face of the game right she's plastered everywhere and everyone loves her her bubbly personality and the story is great too but uh let's get into her skill right that's what we're here for i think she is a solid support unit because that's the role she fills in she's a four star ice uh, support unit and she basically shields her ally but only one at a time and um, on her ultimate she does an aoe freeze which is great because freezing is just as good as stunning because it does take a turn away from the uh, enemies which is awesome and it um you know stops them from doing whatever action they were planning on doing which is very very strong um but it's not guaranteed of course you know there's a chance for it to get resisted that's mainly what she's going to bring to the table and she's pairs up really really well with uh clara and honestly she pairs up really well in defending your team you know um with her shield because her shield is very strong and then if you unlock her traces she does get a nice dispel to take off some of those pesky debuffs but overall i think she does her job very well and i personally didn't use her that much but again this is my opinion i would go ahead and place her in the b tier um she's still very solid uh you know and her counter ability helps her be able to break and do a little bit of chip damage but yeah um i would definitely put her in b tier for now and next we got serval um serval is a four star lightning uh aoe damaging unit um and like i said she's gonna excel in damaging and with aoe now uh she does apply um herself with uh, damage over time she does apply it herself which is good and she also extends it with her ultimate which is also very good um especially it's going to come in handy those da damage over time spells when it's uh, single target boss fights because aoe damaging units are obviously not as going to be as good as single target damaging units but because they have this uh, extra dot damage um against those single target boss fights it's gonna help them out a bit more right so it gives her a little bit more value but uh, i didn't really use her most a lot in the uh, early on in the game but she still is really good especially when you get towards the later of the game and you're you know forced to bring out uh certain element types um like i had with her and she is actually very very solid and uh, I liked her a lot. Uh, she does good damage. And yeah, yeah, I put Serval in B tier. And then next, we're going to go with one of my favorite four star uh, units uh, in the game right now. Um, trust me, it's the bias is not going to have me rank her somewhere where she shouldn't be. I'm just going to be straightforward with you guys. She is an amazing, amazing unit. And I used her the majority of the beginning of the game or throughout the game, honestly. And I used her a lot um she does a uh, great aoe damage and follow-up damage with her talent which is great and um her ultimate does great aoe her um e does as well but that's all she's really doing is just following up and doing a bunch of damage um so yeah she she does a great amount of damage and she can clear out waves super quick now her only weakness is that when it comes to single target uh boss fights she is not the best at all she's probably one of the worst single target damage dealing units in the game but she makes up with it with being so good in the aoe uh field of things right so uh honestly even though i love her so much and i want to put her in the s tier because her single target is so bad early on or just bad in general because you know she is an aoe unit I'm gonna go ahead and place her in A, but still a very solid unit to build early on. Now, the next unit I wanna bring in is Tung Yun. Now, Tung Yun is very interesting because she is one of the newest four stars uh, in Honkai Star Wars that, that they introduced to us here in Closed Beta 3. Um, I think she is so valuable because she is our second unit that actually buffs. Now, the first unit that does damage buffs, I meant specifically, is uh, Branya. And Branya, we all know that she's top tier, great five-star unit that, you know, she's one of the best uh, buffers in the game right now. But, you know, if you're not fortunate enough to pull Branya, you know, you can still go get by with Tong Yun because she uh, doesn't give crit or crit damage, right? Um, but she applies you with an attack up buff, 
with some extra lightning damage on top of it she's also going to regenerate your uh, allies energy which is key in this game right so your damage dealer can go ahead and do even more ultimates which is going to initiate them a lot because she does give a good amount of energy on her ultimate and uh, it gives them another damage stack of buff right now she does do pretty good damage as well for a support support unit uh she's gonna be mainly doing uh, damage through her basic attacks though but still very very solid if there's a unit that you know is you know on par with not on par but you you can replace with Branya, it would be her and because of that i would put her in the s tier guys and and one thing she is uh probably the only unit i think of right now that can uh, regenerate your allies energy right now so which is very very valuable next we got don hang guys and don hang is one of the four star units that you get early on in the beginning of the game he's gonna be free also guys heard is free it's as well uh, so is March 7th and so it's going to be serve all so these units are all free except Tong Young You will have to probably get lucky and pull her in the banner, but she's a four star unit So she shouldn't be too hard to pull Don Hang honestly um, He is a great single target damage dealing unit. Uh, he is a win type um, so yeah, his whole thing is you're gonna want to build crit so you can land those speed buff down debuffs on the enemy So he can go ahead and do more damage on his ultimate. That's basically him in a nutshell He does struggle with uh, aoe if he had something to deal aoe damage I can probably place him higher than where I was gonna place him But honestly, he does his job really well. He does a lot of damage. He's good at breaking as well So yeah, um Don Hang, we would definitely put him in right next to Herda. Next up, we got Pella. Pella is going to be one of the also one of the only units in the game that does defense down. And in turn based game, defense down is huge because if you uh, shred the enemy's defense, that initiates your uh, damage dealers to do even more damage. Right. So um, she's she does that, but with an AOE. Right. So she hits all the enemies with defense down. So she's going to shine a lot with, uh, you know, the AOE damage dealers in the game and even single target damage dealers in the game. Now, she also can strip buffs that um, certain enemies can get which make them very very dangerous which is going to come in handy pretty much but i personally didn't use her too much i believe she's going to be used a lot more later on in the game um she's definitely going to have high use but um like i said um she's still a great support because of that and she's an ice support as well so for now i'm just gonna go ahead and place her probably in right over march 7th um so yeah that's where i would put her right now then we got ching shu right guys this unit was pretty controversial for me uh, and she's also one of the newest uh, four star units that was added in closed beta 3 that I had the honor of testing. Now she is uh, a quantum unit and because she's going to be the only other quantum unit that you're going to get other than Sila, Xingxu will hold a lot of value because if you don't pull Sila, you will definitely want to go ahead and rely on Xingxu for your quantum damage, right? If you're gonna have those bosses this week to quantum, this is gonna be the unit you bring in. The only thing that I felt iffy about this unit is that on her E, you know, uh, for her to be able to get her enhanced basic attacks, you're gonna need to, um, match her four stones now she can get this passively through her talent as she takes turns she's going to be matching them turn by turn right and she will eventually get her enhanced basic attack and then once she uses her enhanced basic attack you got to go right back in the cycle of matching it and um her ult also helps her out with that when she uses her ult she automatically gets four, four matching uh stones jade stones and then that'll also give her an enhanced basic attack now let's say you don't want to wait for the turns to go by and you don't have your ultimate you're gonna have to go ahead and rely on your, your e skill to go ahead and try to match those uh jade stones because if not she'll just have a regular uh basic attack if you go ahead and use her e to try to match it and you, the max skill points you can have right now is five you can li literally drain all of them and not have it it's really like gambling to get those jade stones sometimes you can get them early sometimes you might get them really late or not at all really um it all depends but for the most part, that's what makes her pretty risky in using is the fact that you're going to have to be using those skill points if you want to go ahead and match those uh, Jade Stones. Um, it makes her fun though, right? It's give and take. It's she, That's what makes her really fun is the little gambling aspect that she has. Um, but at the end of the day, right, she's not the most efficient because of that because you sometimes there's going to be times where you're going to want to use those skill points somewhere else with other allies on your team in that battle. So. Uh, with that being said, honestly, I would have put her in the D tier back then, but she because she's the only quantum damage dealer that we have right now, that bumps her up to C. 
Um, again, she's still good because she does good AOE damage on her uh, uh, abilities and stuff. But it's just the fact that you need RNG to get those matching stones. Now, the next unit we're going to be talking about is Hook. Now, Hook is a four star fire damaging dealing unit that honestly does it all for a damaging unit. Um, she does AOE on her E um, and damages, and she also applies burn, which uh, is a damage over time. Now, she also has a single target damaging hard hitting ability on her ultimate, which enhances her basic attack, which makes her do more uh, AOE damage, which is great. Um, and then on top of that for her talent is if you hit someone that's burned which she applies on herself or you could put her on a burn team she's going to be giving herself energy so she can go ahead and keep uh using her ult even more often now because this unit basically does it all as like i said as far as for a damage dealer not really all but she does a lot um i'm gonna go ahead and just put her in s tier guys because her kit is that good she Applies damage over time, single good single target, does good AoE damage as well, and gives herself energy so she can keep uh, using her ultimate. Uh, yeah, this unit is really, really good. Probably one of the best four star damaging dealing units in the game right now, as far as like versatility. And then next, uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk about Sample. Now Sample is a four star wind damage dealing unit. Um, and what he does really, his main job is to enhance your uh, damage over time that your allies place on the enemy through breaking or through their abilities, um, which honestly gives him a lot of value because he really enhances those uh, di uh, those dots uh, a lot. So they'll be able to do a lot of damage, especially if you stack them up. Um, but yeah, he's kind of, you're still gonna wanna bring some units that do bring that damage over time just to add even more value to him. And because um, he kind of, he's not reliant on it because you can still apply those damage over time even through um, just breaking the enemy, but it makes it more trickier, right? If you have something more consistent, someone that applies it, make him a lot more consistent and better. Uh, his E is really good too, because uh, it's a five hit and it's good for breaking as well. Um, I would honestly put this guy in A. And yeah, I would honestly probably put him over um, Don Hang as well. But yeah, solid uh, damager that also supports as well. So Sample, we'll put him in between these guys. Next, we're gonna talk about Asa. Now Asa, she is a uh, another unit that honestly gives you an attack um, to your entire team. And on her E, she also has a random E as well, just like Sample. But it's also good because it's uh, good for breaking since it's a uh, multi-attack which breaking in this game is so, so useful. Now, one of the main things about her, guys, is that she's gonna be able to provide speed up. And speed in turn-based games, especially games like these, is most of the time really, really important because it's gonna help you outspeed the opponent with your team and go ahead and be able to take those turns a lot quicker and deal more damage and do more supporting abilities and stuff like that. So because of that, that makes her super, super duper valuable. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and pop her right in the beginning of A. Uh, we could put her in S tier, honestly, but we're just gonna put her in A for now. I did use her a lot in the closed beta. I do think she's really useful. And then next we're gonna have Natasha, guys. Now Natasha is gonna be one of the only four star healers that you're given, and she's also free. Um, and she is great, guys. She does AOE healing. She does single target healing that dispels as well. If you have a debuff, puts a heal over time uh, heal on you as well. And she has a good technique as well, which helps uh, you take even less damage. Uh, honestly, overall, this character is really good. She uh, scales off HP as well, so that makes her tanky, so she can stay around as long as she can and be able to heal as much as she can um, to keep people up. And all, all her heals also uh, scale off HP, so it's gonna make her heal even harder. So very, very good. We're gonna go ahead and toss her in the S tier, guys. Very, very valuable character in Natasha. And then next we got Su Shang, guys. Su Shang is a physical single target damage dealing unit. Now I really like this unit because she can go ahead and take extra turns with her ultimate. Um, and you know, so she can do an ability and then she can use her ultimate and it'll be her turn again. Um, and then she'll do even more damage again. So she can go three times. She's, she's like kind of like Sheila, kind of. 
in a certain kind of a sense and um it also had, when she ults she enhances her e ability which hits even more and does even more multi hits which helps with breaking um i think this uh, unit is really good and she also gives herself a speed buff as well um which helps her take even more turns now because this unit it feels uh sort of similar but not really to a five star in the game i can't help it but to put her in the s tier for now even though she, it is single target uh damage that she does the fact that she can get that extra turn at when whenever she gets her all at will makes her really really valuable and she does a ton of damage as well and then next guys we have arlen arlen is gonna be a unit that honestly i think is good but the f i would honestly would rather use serval because the fact that he hurts himself and the more damage that he takes the more damage he does so in sense you're you're gonna want him to take damage um, or, you know, he can hurt himself through his E ability to be able to do as much damage as possible, which is very high risk, high reward because, you know, he's going to be a glass cannon and these bosses in this game hit pretty hard. So they're, there's, they're definitely not no joke and they will, um, hit you hard if they have a chance to and you're gonna need to pair him up for sure you're gonna want to make sure he's shielded and healed it or just shielded because you want him to be low that's his thing right but he's a lightning unit as well just like servo but that's why i would i'm saying i i would always take servo over using him and uh honestly because of that i'd put him at the d tier um don't get me wrong he's still good right he'll still do damage and his all is aoe as well he does a bunch of damage but you know the caveat is that that if he if you get caught slipping in the the boss or enemies that you go against they will end up taking him out if he's way too low so he's very very risky but high reward as well but there you have it guys in order this is going to be the uh, most valuable four star units that i believe in my eyes are and again the free ones is natasha asta herda don hang march 7th and serval and Xing Shu, right? You will be able to get these characters for free. And all these other ones you'll have to pull in the gotcha, which shouldn't be too hard because they are four stars. And if they keep it the same, you'll be able to pull them every a four star every 10 pulls. But yeah, guys, um, again, this isn't set in stone. Like I said, you're, all these units are still going to be valuable depending on the boss that you're going to have to go against or the fight you're going to go into. Um, all these units have a good kit to a certain extent. Like I said, it just all depends. But this is more of a skill based uh, tier list. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about this tier list and where you guys would place who with what. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. It's your boy Jira. I'm out. Peace.